Good morning guys, welcome back and welcome back to the gym. Today it's going to be a back and biceps workout for me. So I just came in early morning, I'm a bit sleepy still, but let's go in there, smash some shit, wake myself up. Uh, I had a coffee so, you know, I'm going to get a bit of a wake up and let's go and smash those weights. So I need to get some extra motivation to wake myself up. I'm gonna put on my music and I just go randomly on YouTube, put in gym music in the search, find our playlist of good music, and that's what I normally do. Although yeah, it uses up all my all my data because uh, think about it, every day listening hours of music, but that's just the best way. I guess I don't get bored of the same music. Uh, last week, since I've been squatting a bit heavy, heavy weight for me anyways, um, I have a bit of lower back pain, so yeah, I definitely have to cut down on the squatting heavy and uh, hopefully that will go away. Sometimes when squatting heavy, some people can have lower back pain, which is from the weight that presses down on your back, your spine. So yeah, hopefully it's nothing that will last and uh, I can carry on doing my squats. If I'm gonna continue having trouble with the pain, I guess squats are not gonna be much for me. Warm up complete, now I'm gonna do three working sets. So this well done now was just a warm up. So I personally, I like keeping workouts, mostly keeping the form good. I see many people, even this one here, people will do this pull down and do a lot of cheating involved, shake and get the strength from the body. I prefer working the muscle I want to work on. So with this, I make sure I get the scratch and then when I come down, I squeeze my back. You know, people will go moving around, shaking about. I don't approve with this kind of form because I believe you work on the muscle properly, keep the form tight, you know, of course there's here and there sometimes when you go very heavy, there's a little bit of a cheat, but you can't base your workout, your sets on cheating, you can't, you know, um, there's always people trying to be clever, pushing weight that they can't do, doing all that cheating stuff, to me personally, I think it's, it's like kind of a waste of time, you'll gain a lot more doing things properly, right, leave your ego out of the gym, do the things properly. Let's go one more set. I'm waking up, let's move on. All right, this is gonna be my next exercise and let's go.
size number three. So time to take off my jumper. this one not going too heavy today here because my lower back this one does work above lower back as well although I don't feel it now to be fair which is good but I don't want to overdo it and then feel it and then kill my whole workout well maybe be out for a while so I'd rather be safe than sorry Woo. okay let's move on a bit cold in it. I'm not feeling that heat yet, but I'm gonna smash it, get myself warmed up properly, get my, you know, get my body working. And that's burn, that's burn. Exercise number 40. So, I've got dumbbells. Watch this. Moving on, single cable pulls. This will be my final exercise for back. I'll do pull downs. So this is a good stretch, squeeze, overall a good exercise to end. a lot of people don't realize I think it's just a stretch it's also the squeeze when you come down it's important to squeeze your left to squeeze your back that's you know most times I see people do this they don't even do it 
that's like half of the exercise. Go. So try that. Make sure you squeeze your back when you come in. Squeeze that back. Finish with that. Time for some quick biceps. So let's kill this. And that is my workout complete. So I've done back, biceps, finished off with a little bell babs, and yeah, I'm more or less done. Have a look at that pump. So I keep on getting progress, which I'm happy about. The good news is for me, I've gone down to 75 kg and around 8% body fat, as you can see. The truth is guys, I don't know if I want to carry on going lower than this. Let me know what you guys think. Should I go lower than this or just maintain like this? Because I don't want to be too shredded to the bone. I don't want to be too veiny and all that. I want to have, you know, a good physique, but not anything crazy like competition kind of lean. So I think the lowest I'll go to is around 7% body fat. Maybe, maybe the lowest I'll go to 73 kg. I don't want to go down to 70 kilo. If I go down to 70 kilo, I'll probably be around 5% body fat. Um, and for me, that's already a bit too much, you know, to be like that. Um, you know, the truth is I've got no competition. I'm just doing it for myself. So I want to do it 
So I want to feel, be in a place where I'll feel happy and a place where I can kind of maintain it. I don't want to just shred down and then put it back on. So yeah, that's really my situation. So let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Tell me if you think I should just stay like this, maintain, and maybe work on, you know, getting just the, the muscle bellies, you know, the roundness better, the quality, um, which I currently work on. That's kind of my truth. Is that's the way I train at the moment. I don't push extreme weight, but I don't go too light. You know, I try and mix around so I get that full uh, roundness into the muscle. And yeah, that's really my current update so thank you guys for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so yet follow me on instagram i will leave the link to my instagram account in the description so i always have more updates there videos i post daily stories normally with good diet foods healthy foods for you know getting lean i post workout videos so check me out follow me there and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Let's give you another quick pose after this pump. Yeah. All right, guys, that's enough. See you on the next video. Bye now.